The pandemic has forced the retailer to close all of its 839 Macy's, Bloomingdale, and Blue Mercury stores. Kohl's announced it's furloughing 85,000 store employees, distribution center associates, and some corporate workers as it continues its scaled back operations. This morning, Best Buy announcing it will furlough about 51,000 hourly store employees starting this Sunday. If you're a retail worker in the U.S., a question that's probably been on your mind is, do I have a future? Well, welcome to Over 50 TV. In this episode, I'm going to let you know. And that, my friends, that's up next. So what's the future for retail workers in the U.S.? Well, if you've been watching your favorite news channel, most people already know that the health crisis has exasperated the many problems that retailers have been facing and facing for years. The retail industry was suffering already. Last year, 9,300 store closures, 23 bankruptcies. That was when the economy was good. So imagine the pressure they're under right now. A few days ago, Coach Kate Spade and Stuart Weitzman announced they're going to be laying off about 2,100 part-time store associates. This week, Lord & Taylor, they're saying they're exploring a bankruptcy filing. Two weeks ago, J.C. Penney, they skipped a $12 million interest payment, and that sets the stage for their bankruptcy filing. Macy's and Kohl's, they have four months left before a cash crunch puts them in what analysts are calling a risk factor category. Yeah, the retail industry is roiling. Over 250,000 U.S. stores have shuttered, and it's estimated that 15,000 stores are going to close permanently. Those numbers are mind-boggling. Unfortunately, the battering retailers are undergoing. What that's going to do is that's going to have a lasting impact on many of the 16 million workers in the industry. The cards, they're seeing more layoffs and more store closings. The future, without question, is not bright for the retail industry. It's bleak. Unless, unless, of course, you work for Amazon or you work for Walmart. The sheer demand of the public right now has been unprecedented. If you just go back over the last 10 days or so, the pattern of shopping was has been enormous. Walmart store sales, they rose 20% over March, the same period last year, according to the Wall Street Journal. The company says they're looking to hire 150,000 new workers by the end of May. Consumer spending at Amazon, why that's up 35% from the same period last year. The current health crisis is only making those giants more powerful. And non-essential retailers, they're forced to sit on the sidelines. And while they're doing that, they're losing billions of dollars and losing valuable time. Deborah Weinswig, she's a chief executive for a company called Coresight Research. She believes the effects of a universal shutdown are likely to be profound and lasting. She anticipates that some of the retailers that recently announced temporary store closures, including, she says, well-known names, she says they're never going to reopen their doors. So what does this mean for retail workers who, for the most part, for the most part, have been living paycheck to paycheck. A startling new poll reveals just how much Americans are struggling. 41% report some loss of income. More than a quarter of Americans say someone in their household has been laid off. One in five are struggling to pay their bills. Well, Matt Canis, he's the executive chairman, is the interim CEO of Lucky Brand. They're the denim retailer. Matt believes there's a lot of people that have to get reskilled and retrained and readjust how they think about the rest of their careers. We agree with Matt, but we're gonna add a caveat. We recommend that you acquire a high income skill, a skill that's gonna make you marketable. Otherwise, you could quite possibly, sometime down the road, end up trapped on another sinking ship. This is Lou Reyes with Over 50 TV. Please subscribe to our channel by hitting the red button underneath the screen. Also, hit that little bell. If you do that, you'll get our latest updates and they'll be delivered right to your inbox. And hit that thumbs up button so I know you enjoyed watching this video. As I always say, have a great day, everybody.